Hello. Okay, so this is my very first video on uh, my YouTube or my fitness fitness channel. I don't know what's going to all be on here, but I'm hoping it's going to be all fitness related. And I thought that I would share with you some of the things I use, I've been using, um, that I feel have helped me um, achieve my fitness goals and that are continuing to help and um, hopefully will help. All right. So the first thing is that I'm going to be using, and I've used one before, is this bad boy right here. And this is a latex waist trainer. And there's a lot of controversy when it comes to waist trainers, why you shouldn't use them, why you should use them, who endorses them, things like that. Um, me, personally, I'm using a waist trainer because I have a very blocky waist and I would like to bring that in a little bit, create um, some curve to my uh, body, and I'm hoping that this waist trainer will help me. I don't, I have used waist trainers to work out in before. It's very difficult. Um, it kind of, well, it does restrict your breathing, which you don't want to do when you're working out. So I'm not, no longer wearing them when I work out. Um, if I do need some extra support, like if I'm doing deadlifts um, or any type of, I tend to wear um, a waist belt or weight training belt, <laughs> a weight belt when um, I'm doing any type of heavy workout or um, deadlifts, anything like that because my waist is so straight and blocky. I don't want to, um, my, my obliques, like if I train them, they will, they will get out of control. So I don't, um, so I use that added support. I don't wear this. Um, to the gym. I am going to be wearing it for two hours a day maximum and I hope to wear it every day. Sometimes I don't but that's the goal. That's the plan. Um, yeah and something along those lines is when I do go to the gym or when I do cardio, I guess my son moved it, I wear a sweat belt and this is just the sweet sweat one and I do use that with sweet sweat and I had that somewhere but I guess I guess my son took it oh well um but it's just a, a topical thermogenic that you put on and it helps you sweat and helps you um drop that added water weight if you have any and I use the, um these two together I, I have no idea where it is anyways um on to kind of supplements um I do use fat burners from time to time I do cycle off of them just meaning that there's a period of time where I use them I don't use them for a period of time and then I'll use them again. Um, fat burners, I wouldn't necessarily say they burn fat. Um, they do, um, they have a lot of caffeine in them. So it's boost your metabolism to help you burn calories. I use fat burners because I really, really love um, the caffeine boost. There are some fat burners that have natural diuretics in them to help you drop excess water weight. Some of them have mood enhancers in them making you feel great and who doesn't want to feel amazing? Just kidding. Um, but this is the one I'm using now and it's uh, Hydroxycut Hardcore Elite and I got this from GNC. And I'm almost done with this. I want to finish with that. I will be um, going to amino acids. Now I use amino acids, let's put this, I use these amino acids every day, um, whether I'm training or not. If I'm training, I'll usually have two servings of these together. Um, the first one is uh, alpha aminos, and this is by Cellucor. And then this is just glutamine, and I mix them two together. This does have glutamine in it, but um, I always put extra in there and that's gonna help your muscles recover, help you not be so sore after um, you work out and really help you to maintain your lean muscle mass, especially if you're doing a lot of cardio as well. Um, on to, oh, sorry. Now the amino acid that's gonna help with fat loss is this one and this is L-carnitine and I'm actually gonna be using this in combination with CLA um, to help um, drop some fat as I get ready for my bikini prep in about 10 weeks. And this I also got from GNC. 
any of the supplements or anything that I mention, this is not a video to say, hey, go buy this, go grab this. This is just simply telling you what I use, um, what works for me, um, what's safe for me. So if you're, if you haven't taken any type of supplement before, I would definitely talk to your doctor, do the research, make sure it's something that um, is safe for you to use. Proteins. Now, I have been using the Diamond Taz Protein, the ISO 100, sorry for all that glare, for a really long time. Um, I really like this one. It really works well with me. It's lactose-free. Um, the macros are pretty pretty freaking decent. Uh, two grams of carbs, 25 grams of protein, um, less than a gram of sugar, and 0.5 grams of fat. And it's 110 calories per serving. And I usually have that with almond milk, but I was kind of sick of the flavors. So I decided to try this one. And if I could get it straight. And there's so much glare from the sun. And this is by Optimum Nutrition. Now it's not lactose free. However, I haven't had an issue with it. Um, I'm semi lactose intolerant, so I can't do like whole milk or, or any type of milk for that matter, but I can have some cheese sometimes. Um, but this one is, I don't have any digestive problems, if you know what I mean, um, so far with it. And this is uh, chocolate malt, which is oh, so yummy, so yummy. And, and I use that and I have that with, I only have that with six ounces of almond milk because it tastes better. Last but not least, I have my multivitamin and this is the women's raw. I would suggest that if you're a woman to take a multivitamin geared towards women for women, um, there's just different minerals and vitamins that we need as women um, more so than a man. So I would really suggest that. And also, if you're going to take a multivitamin, I really suggest taking an actual capsule and not a tablet form. You just, um, your body absorbs the nutrition or the minerals and vitamins in the capsule a lot better um, than in an actual tablet or vitamin. So yeah, that um, or these are the things that I've been using, I have used before that um, help me get to my fitness goals, help me reach them. I really like um, the things that I've mentioned. If you have any questions, is there anything that I could help you out on, um, answer for you. I got my waist trainer off of Amazon. Um, it was called Moda Boutique and it was $39.99. I have bought a waist trainer from the mall, which was pretty expensive. Um, and to me, there is no difference between the two. I don't know. Um, but yes, so if you have any questions or concerns, please let me know. Spare fingers, not but. Um, all right, well, thank you so much for watching. Bye.